Empires can take all forms. This man built his, selling discount alcohol by the truckload. His fortune is worth 75 million euros and rising. Meet Dave West, the ultimate rags to riches millionaire. Born into a poor family, Dave now makes the very most of living the millionaire lifestyle with all the trappings. Be it dancing in exclusive beach clubs, sailing in private yachts or going on extravagant shopping sprees, Dave is keen to flash the cash. Let me tell you something, uh, there was a time when money didn't buy me happiness, but it helped me cope with misery quite good. Dave runs EastEnders, the largest drinks cash and carry warehouse in Europe. But his empire wasn't always so grand. Well, we, we actually started off with a caravan and uh, an English double-decker bus uh, painted up like a Union Jack. <laughs> so um, that was it. We just started at the side, at the side of uh, the road. Dave's idea was to sell cheap alcohol at the French border so that British customers could save on import tax. He was one of the first people to take advantage of this huge gap in the market. Well, the thing is, we was operating a 24-hour business, um, and uh, obviously in the very beginning it was extremely slow, particularly overnight, so we worked with a bell. And basically, I'd have my, my head down sleeping, and if the bell rung, I'd jump up and run out and serve people. But, I mean, the, the, the caravan that we used, and I actually slept in for two and a half years, Stepto wouldn't have kept his chickens in it. <laughs> Dave's idea turned out to be a huge moneymaker. He now sells 20 million bottles of wine a year. Obviously, my lifestyle now is completely different because I can achieve a lot more things. Basically, it's money. Everybody wants your money. You're instantly accepted when they see or smell money. And I, I, I think I'm doing all the right things to let people see that I've got money. Dave, who's single, is on holiday in Saint-Tropez, where the well-known, the well-dressed and the well-off come to play. You aren't anybody if you haven't spent some time here in Saint-Tropez. This is really literally the heartbeat of the whole world. Even before he was rich, Dave wondered what it would be like to join the club of the well-to-do. I remember some years ago coming to Saint-Tropez and in them days, I mean, I could hardly afford an ice cream. I mean, and it was actually like being on the garden fence looking over. Now, you know, I've actually jumped over the fence and I'm, I'm in the thick of it. One of Dave's favourite hangouts is the exclusive Lavoile Rouge Club a magnet for Europe's rich and famous. A bottle of champagne here costs 500 euros, and in what they call the afternoon champagne fight, the super rich love to bathe in it. But although Dave's been coming here for 10 years, he still doesn't feel he really belongs to the smart set. It's very difficult to penetrate rich people because you're always a little suspicious on what people's motives are. But Dave has a shrewd plan to make some new rich friends and money at the same time. I thought, well, if I open London's most prestigious club, it'll all come to me. Dave's new members-only club, Hey Joe, is currently being built in Mayfair, London's most exclusive neighbourhood. With a budget of over 5 million euros, Hey Joe will be the flagship of Dave West's empire. Well, we're going to actually attract the rich and famous, uh, basically. But having said that, we will have poor members. Um, if somebody can add to the ambience of the club, I mean, if somebody turns up at the door in a pink suit, we'll let them in. But um, it will, believe me, be the most exclusive club in London. Ever the networker, Dave plans to be a very hands-on club owner. I'm going to really mix with the clientele, I mean, I'll pull up a chair uh, and sit at somebody's table, maybe taste one of their chips or whatever, you know. Um, I should be very familiar with my customers. Dave is keen to make Hey Joe as classy and sophisticated as he can, so he's going for broke. That 
door there that, that comes from an Indian temple. I, I paid £35,000 for that. For Empire Builder Dave, a smart club could be his ticket into high society. So he'll go to any lengths to make his club the most impressive in town, even though costs are spiralling. When it comes to impressing rich friends, it doesn't come much grander than this. The Annalisa is the world's largest charter boat. It costs 661,000 euros a week to hire. This 85-metre four-storey floating palace sleeps 36 guests and comes complete with a crew of 36 to look after them. And if you want to drop in for lunch, there's even a helipad, a bargain at 94,500 euros a day. Dave West built an empire selling cheap alcohol. Now he's come to Moscow with a shopping list for his empire's flagship. He's opening an exclusive club in London where he will mingle with the rich and famous and cash in on their extravagant lifestyle. You know, when my club is open, it will be the most talked about club that was ever launched probably anywhere in the world. Dave wants only the best for his new venture and he's come a long way to get it. In a Moscow gallery, Dave is looking at some of Russia's most priceless treasures. Okay, what I'm actually looking for is I want to create um, a Russian atmosphere in uh, one of our VIP rooms. So I'm looking for something that would be typical Russian. The starting price for anything in this gallery is 200,000 euros. Actually, that, that, that one there catches my eye. Dave is interested in one of the most expensive pieces in the gallery, by Russian master Makovsky. What would that cost me then? Well, uh, that's uh, half a million dollars. Okay, half a million dollars. And, for example, my customers, they, they would yeah, know they that's an expensive yeah, that's, painting. Yeah, that's sure they should recognize oh, it. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Fine. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Lovely, thank you. Next on the shopping list are handmade tiles for his club's toilets. And Dave has found a couple of beautiful girls to help him decide which to buy. One of the most important things for me is the fact that these are exclusive. Oh yeah, it's 100% exclusive. Nobody has it. Nobody anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Dave is so keen to attract the 